dear friends and colleagues i am dr k kannan professor mechanical engineering anjalai ammal mahal engineering college koilvanni in tamil nadu uh, since 1988 i am teaching in engineering colleges based on my experience in the 30 plus years in engineering colleges i like to share some of my thoughts on paradigm shift in engineering college teaching so today uh, in, mo- in almost all the engineering colleges in india the admissions are poor in tamil nadu there are only 50% admission in the total seats of tamil nadu government in colleges majority of the colleges the result is poor placement is poor students are not performing well in the national level examination like a gate and the corporates industries they are reporting that the students does not have the employability skills these are all the main any problems uh, why these things are happening and how to improve how to change to the requirement i will share my thoughts through this uh, presentation now listen to the photograph listen to the slide for a moment and find out so there is a teacher explaining that i taught uh, fluff to count to 3 but the other man and this man is complaining is finding that i did not hear him counting and the teacher reply just because i taught it does not mean he caught it so the thing is we are teaching in the classroom we are teaching to the students effectively we are teaching to the students but are the students are learning in the classroom that is the question all all the teachers are preparing well they are very well qualified and the teaching well inside the classroom but the problem is the students are not learning inside the classroom the learning is not taking place inside the classroom and there are many reasons uh, many reasons in the uh, for the question you will see so yesterday what was important inside the engineering college classroom it was how effectively the teacher was teaching in the classroom so the teacher when the teacher is effectively present the subject and everything will be good that is enough for the student on the previous days but today the thing is how effectively the student is learning in the class that is what uh, measured uh, we can, uh, you can find out you can find out the results on a university examination results are poor the uh, because the learning is not taking place inside the classroom and uh, how the what are all the attributes for effective teaching or learning so how to measure the effective teaching of the teacher or effective learning of the student inside the classroom so the what are the attributes for effective teaching or effective learning so how effectively the teacher is teaching inside the classroom or how effectively students learning inside the classroom the attributes are test mark analysis anonymous result analysis attendance of the students inside the classroom discipline of the students inside the classroom effective delivery of the le- content by the teacher encouraging the student to ask questions inside the classroom or answering to the students questions by the teacher giving the feedback to the students performance by the teacher preparing and circulation of the course material and helping the solo learners so these are all the some of the attributes for measuring whether the teacher is teaching effectively or whether the teacher is effective or the students are learning effectively so everything is happening these are all the tools what we have 
the parameter what we have uh, to monitor the student and the teacher inside the classroom during the teaching learning process. But still, the things are not improving because of various reasons. So now we require some changes. We require changes in the understanding students' learning style. We are not understanding the student learning style. So the stu students learn by variety of method. Uh, uh, today there is a, a research. So what are the topic? All the topic, whatever I have given here. Uh, there is intensive research going on and you can google the topic and find out the research uh, article uh, on these topics so the student learning style we have to understand the learning style and uh, uh, adjust our teaching methodology to suit to the learning style of the student and design and delivery of the subject content so how effectively we are designing and delivering the subject content using variety of teaching methodology inside a single period. That is very important. And uh, to for delivery of the subject, we require innovative pedagogical techniques to suit to the learning style of the student. So sim simple chalk and talk throughout the 50 minutes or simple PPT presentation throughout the 50 minutes will not work, will be boring to the student. So we have to combine, we have to combine and effectively design the lecture uh, where you have variety inside the classroom. And uh, nowadays we find the classroom where the teacher is teaching for the 50 minutes and the students are uh, passively listening. They are not interacting, they are not even taking notes, they are not even writing inside the classroom. So that habit we have to break. So we have to make the student to participate in the learning activity. So for that, we require active or the collaborative learning technique inside the classroom. So when you when you have active and collaborative learning technique inside the classroom, the students will be active and they will participate in the learning process so that they will learn better. And the effective planning on the problem-based learning and effective planning on the project-based learning. So these two are very important for engineering colleges. All the engineers are expected to solve the problem in their uh, professional life. Maybe it may be a numerical problem or a decision making. A decision making in a critical situation is also a problem solving. So for problem solving and project based learning, we require effective planning and we have to do in an effective way so that they can learn better through the problems and the projects and managing disruptive students, disruptive behavior of the students inside the classroom. This is also a challenge today. And uh, encouraging online learning. The students are, today's generation, they are more on the social media. So effectively utilizing the social media and we have to teach through the online so that they will learn better. So there are many more points to discuss. And uh, remember, many things are Many things, whatever I listed here, they are uh, subject of research today internationally and you can refer the article on these topics. So the change from routine is difficult for everybody, but it is inevitable today to improve the situation for the better admission, better results in the classroom, in the classes and placement, better placement of the student. So we have to change. So we have to change our teaching method for the benefit of the next generation engineers. So I, 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 have, I have conducted some research on the topics, whatever I given earlier. I have a very good collection of material. And for further details or conduct our training at the workshop, you please contact to my mail ID or phone number. So finally, thank you. All the best.